Today I'm going to give you an up-close look at how to change the watch battery of a Timex Ironman Triathlon Shock. What you'll need is a pair of tweezers, a jeweler's or very small Phillips head screwdriver, a very fine pin, a new watch battery which is model CR2016 as noted on the back of the watch, and I like to use jeweler's goggles but you don't need them. My near field vision isn't so great so it's helpful for me given the parts are pretty small. As you can see here, I've used two self-tapping screws on each side of the watch band. That helps keep it out of the way, also prevents the watch from flipping around, in which case I could end up losing parts. Let's get started. To remove the back of the watch, we're going to remove this screw, this screw, this screw, and this screw. And I like to have a container close by uh, to place the screws in in the order that they were removed. Perhaps it's OCD or being overly cautious. I feel as though the screws, though, fit back in better and maintain a tighter seal when they go back into the holes they came out of. Let's take them out. Now that I've removed the back of the watch, you can get a better look at what's happening in here. You'll notice there's a sticker here that says unlatch to remove battery, which is referring to this latch and this latch. I'm going to remove the sticker in a moment so we can get a better look at the actual battery. Okay, now that I removed the sticker, you can get a better look. If you remember on the sticker, it said unlatch to remove battery. It's referring to uh, this latch and this latch. And what it is, see this metal piece right here? It has two little clasps that latch around this catch, this piece here, and this piece here. And you'll get a better look at it in a moment. In order to remove the clasp from the catches, take a pin and stick it into, see this little hole right here? Uh, stick your pin into it, like this, and you wanna push forward like this, which will release the clasp. Let me take it off uh, and you can have a better look at it. So you can see there's a little clasp on each side of it that goes around the catch, which is right here. Okay. So let's put that aside. And now I can use the tweezers to remove the battery. Actually, I think the pin will work better. <laughs> there we go. I'll put the old battery aside. I'll take my new battery and the positive side will go up although I've got to make sure that I remove the sticker so I don't wonder why it's not working. So the positive side up, place it into the cavity and make sure you get it under this, see this little spring-loaded thing here? It needs to go under that. So push it in like this. The battery won't stay in because the clasp isn't holding it in place. <laughs> so I'll take the clasp and if I latch latch it around one side or one catch, then I can hold it down using my fingers. And then I can uh, use my pin to attach the other side. So I get my pin, oops. <laughs> Picking up pins is not so easy. So now that I got the pin, I'll stick it into this little hole here again and get this side down so the clasp latches into place. Oops, that's not the hole, there we go. All right, and there we go, it's in. Now we'll screw this back together and test it out. And you wanna make sure the screws go in tightly since this is a waterproof watch. If you don't get the screws in properly, this display will go out, in which case, let the watch dry out and the display should come back. <laughs> One thing I should point out regarding putting the screws back in, get all the screws in, but don't tighten them completely. Get them in and then progressively go one screw at a time and keep going around until they're completely tightened. That way you get a nice even and tight seal. Now that we've changed the battery, if you'd like to learn how to set the time and date as well as use the chrono timer and alarm features, click the link appearing now in the upper right hand corner of your screen and I'll also put the link in the information section below. I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, please do me a favor and like it so other people can find it. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Happy training, runners. In the basement. Yeah.